What's this? What's this? So we had a delivery from one of our local uh, viewers from North Brisbane. He dropped us off some dog stuff and a six pack of beer for Carl. Thanks for the gifts. Hey going guys, Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is going to be part one of two. We have two lift cylinder barrels off a ZX670 to be repaired and two pistons to manufacture. The boom lift cylinders are what lift and lower the boom when the machine's in operation. What we've got here today, we've got the left and the right barrel and we've also got the left and right piston. The left barrel seems to be in worse shape than the right hand side. It seems there's been a foreign material of some nature make its way into the cylinder and because the cylinders share oil, it has gone through both of them. We're not exactly sure where this foreign material has come from. We can't pinpoint what it was, so the customer's gonna have to strip all the hydraulic system off the machine, pumps, hoses, pipework, tank, the lot, and try and clean out as much as they can, get it back to a suitable stage. As you can see by the damage in the barrels, we are going to have to rebarrel the two lift rams. Of course there is a material shortage at the moment on hone cylinder tube in that particular size. We're waiting on material for our barrels, so we'll get onto them when it gets here. And the pistons are pretty well dead, there's no fixing these at all. So for today we're going to start doing the pistons. So the two pieces of material, it's a piece of 38 MNVS6, very close to a 4140, but the machines a lot like a 1045. It's not a nicer surface finish, but that's no problem considering what they're doing. This is a slug of 200 diameter by 95 mil thick. We couldn't get a hollow bar anywhere near close to the size we needed. So we're gonna start with a solid, bore out the inside, start machining.
Right, guys, so we've bought out the, the new piston. We've left about one and a half mil inside there to clean up. I need to machine a recess down the inside of the piston here for the nut. So the nut has got a relieved area on it. That shoulder there. This nut's not actually off this machine, this is off a much, much larger excavator. But they all seem to run exactly the same sort of configuration. Everything just gets larger or smaller. So we'll get that machined in there, then we're going to flip it around in the machine and we'll start doing the other side. Righto guys, so now that, now that the recess has been machined, I can flip it over in the chuck. I'm going to grab it from the ID of the recess. That way I can do all of the other machining, or well 99% of it, with the one setup. That then allows me to finish bore the ID to suit the rod, face it off so that's going up against the end of the rod or up against a cushion bearing, and then do the outside. Then I know everything is nice, clean and straight, parallel with each other. There won't be any interference in the barrel, there won't be any interference on the rod. Everything will just go together 100% perfect. So there's probably other ways you could do it. You could create a spigot, machine a spigot that the piston slips on and a nut that tightens up against that. There's been cases where we've had to do it that way. But when you've got a recess to use and you can grip the part, quick, easy, simple.
definitely a move on that. Is that for me? <laughs> no, no, this one's not for you. Well, it could be. <laughs> Tristan from Perth. Yeah, thank you very much.
Right, so that's piston number one done. Let's get cracking on number two. Alright guys, we've completed the machining on our two pistons, they're both 100% finished now. We're going to give them back to the customer, they're going to do the assembly, so put these back on the rods, seals, so on and so forth. For those who might be wondering, to buy a brand new piston from the OEM is about $3,700 Australian. We can well and properly make these cheaper, the customer decided to go down that path, save himself some money. So once the material arrives for the rebarrels, we'll get stuck into that, so stay tuned for part two. We're going to go into the cores. Yes, just right. just get the intro done. Right. Okay. Yeah. How you going, guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. So, <laughs> fucking strange. <laughs> right, guys. So we've bought out the the new piston. We're left about one. Uh, we've left. Right, guys. So we've we've. Right, guys. So I've finished machining up that recent. Oh, fuck. Right, guys. Oh, fuck. How did I start the last one? Can't remember. Fuck it, righto. Righto, guys, so. Oh shit, I totally <laughs> lost it. Oh, fuck. I lost it. Starting again? Yeah. yeah. So we do have. Shit. So the cylinders. Are... Oh, the cylinder. Fuck me. So the cylinders are off a. Oh, fuck. They're the boom lifts. Oh, fuck. They're the boom lift rams. Oh, fuck me, I'm having a moment. <laughs> One word at a time. <laughs> Um, so, using, oh, fuck me, it's not fucking <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hang on, 
So as you can see by the damage, um, so what the fuck? Oh my god. So. <laughs> and that's it, we're gonna do it. So. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, bullshit. Tight. <laughs> I just blew a big hole through it. It ain't tight no more. <clears throat> so I'm gonna clamp this thing into fucking something so I'm just trying to hold it. The inset's fucking shit out. I'm just gonna change it. Go away, you little bastard. Homeless Jewish. <laughs> Meanwhile. With my gift. You get nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you are crazy. Are you step one? Lay down. Lay down. No. Lay down. <laughs> Spin around. <gasps> Good boy. Yum, 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 yum. Good boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, oi, oi. He's like, that was a, oi, clean it up. What's, oi, what's up? Homeless, eat him up. Look what's that?